guys, it's Isabel. So today I have a video that has been requested a few times. The bag that I have is really, really cool and it is actually a vegan leather bag, which is amazing. You guys know as a vegan, I don't like to wear leather and I'm slowly, it's so hard not to buy things that are made of leather or suede, I believe is also animal cow derived and silk, wool. I don't like to buy any of those things. A lot of times the reason I have those things is because people give them to me or as gifts and I'm not gonna turn down a gift and if it's already bought I'm not gonna dispose of it I don't like to waste but I'm also really huge on supporting companies whether it be through makeup or beauty or health or fashion or just anything that we use I'm completely in favor of companies that are ethical and that are ethical brands I think that these smaller companies instead of giving our money to these large big companies and big brands that test on animals or use animal products just for fashion. Now you don't have to be a vegan or just you know an animal activist or anything to support these companies. Just supporting small brands is just really good for our economy and for these people who are creating really good high quality products. That's why I decided to do a what's in my bag and this is the Angela Roy Share Tote in light gray. You guys can see it's quite a nice large bag. Angela Roy was kind enough to send me this one. I got it about a week ago so I've been using it and I've I love it so much already and if you guys follow me on Instagram I talked about it in my Instagram story it's just so well made if you guys saw my old bag it was time for me to get a new bag so basically just show you guys what's in here first glance this is a basically two cavities here and then a big zipper this is a really nice zipper area this this bag is just so sturdy and so stable and it stands up on its own which is perfect for me because when I travel I need something sturdy so I can dump everything in here latch it up and you know go on my merry way i don't have a lot of stuff in my purse i'm not a messy person i don't like to keep a lot of junk in my purse so first thing i have here this is my birthday which is a few days ago as you guys know so this was actually a gift my sister gave me and this is the real techniques brush set and i was so excited to get this because look how amazing this is it's like a travel pouch so this is perfect just to dump into my purse and the brushes even if they have product on it they're not going to get in there and stay in my purse or get you know makeup on my purse so i love this it's really nice and secure doesn't slip out so what comes in here is the real techniques buffing brush contour brush pointed foundation brush and then this little detail brush next is my wallet now this is also vegan leather from another great brand it's called luca chiara it's an italian handcrafted wallet and they have a ton of other things. I have a travel bag by Luca Chiara, 100% vegan leather. I'm just telling you, there's so many great smaller companies and brands out there that create vegan products. Luca Chiara is also a great brand to look into. This is a gym membership, driver's license, Sephora gift card, credit card, credit card, credit card, debit card, you know, all this stuff. And it has a cute little pouch in here, a little zipper pouch. So you can put your coins and like little things in there. Oh, and it has these side pockets too. This is a really special wallet because it also has protection from people who try to scan chip cards and take your information and take your money because there are devices where people can literally walk by you and scan your chip card. So next is this, I always have to have a hand cream with me, especially right now it's kind of winter even though it's been kind of hot lately but if there is cold weather outside you always have to have this and also it's great for your body this is the Camille Beckman glycerin hand therapy and Camille Beckman sent me a bunch of their products which I absolutely love I'm loving their body lotion it's like a huge lotion and it's like vanilla icing it smells so good oh my goodness but this is the mango beach number two paraben free gluten free and no animal testing I'm gonna put some on right now all their scents are amazing. So thank you Camille Beckman for letting me try out your stuff. Another great smaller company, another smaller brand that you know we should always support. And of course the no animal testing is always a huge plus for me. So if I'm gonna travel, I'm probably gonna take this out because it's a six ounce bottle or maybe put it in a smaller container to take with me because when I travel, I, I'm probably gonna take this bag on my next trip pretty soon. Okay, next is... <laughs> 
All right, so <laughs> I made a joke about this on Instagram on my story. Basically, we're saying just in case, you know, if you ever want to spike your drink, you keep this with you. But this is the Bacardi. This is obviously a travel size. If anything, I'm just keeping this for me for when I go on a plane. Like, let's say they don't have alcohol or something or want to spike a drink. I think it was from when I went to Cancun or to New Orleans. I got this. I just keep it with me. It's such a cute little bottle. And I think it looks pretty. So I'm not an alcoholic, guys. I don't drink every day. I'm not like that. I think it's funny just to throw in there. Going on to the other cavity, the large cavity, is my makeup bag. And this is just like a standard makeup bag that was sent to me by a company a couple years ago. And they sent some of their products in here. It was a Korean beauty product. And it's pretty large, so it fits all this stuff in it. So I just run through what I have in here. So this is the IT Bye Bye Pores. IT Cosmetics Poreless Finish Airbrush Powder. And it is a translucent powder and I'm really loving this it literally airbrushes my skin makes my skin look like it was photoshopped it is that good and it like does not settle into my fine lines and in my eyes so I'm really loving this and it cosmetics does not test on animal so here's the NYX cheek contour duo in cheek on cheek then the LA girl pro conceal and beautiful bronze I use like crazy the everyday minerals foundation brush and I really love it I use this for my powder foundation the Tarte Maracuja creases concealer this is in medium sand you guys know this is like my holy grail concealer I have a lot of makeup brushes in here this one was an Estee Lauder from back in the day I keep it even though I don't buy Estee Lauder anymore and this one here is from everyday minerals this is my favorite blend brush of all time I use it today actually it's from a brand you get at Whole Foods so it's an ethical brand and then this one is just another brush I don't know where it's from here I have an itsy blush and it's in these little individuals itsy sells like individual pans because they also sell these big palettes these magnetic palettes that you just get your pans and you can stick them on there and create your own palette so this is my favorite cheek color I even use it in the crease so much this is a perfect peachy color this is in Havana and then I have this Itsy lip color in Bellini. So it's a smaller little lip color. It's what I have on right now. I really love, this is the Evolution something lip balm. It's cut off here, but it's by Salt Company. It's peppermint and it's 100% raw and it's vegan. So it's really hard to find. Even at my local health food store, I went back to find this again and it wasn't there anymore. So it's really hard to find a vegan lip balm that does not have beeswax in it. It's made with candelilla wax, which is a plant-derived wax. So I love it and it's one of the best lip balms I've ever used. This is my super old Bodyography Brow Trio, and it's not a trio anymore because the other two buddies decided to leave me, but I use this one every day. I use it in all my tutorials. It's what I use now. I'm like holding on to it for dear life, although I could just buy a new one, but it still has a lot of use out of it, so I love it. Then Tarte Lights Camera Splashes Mascara, and then here's a little oval brush, a small one for, I basically use this to blend out my nose contour. This is the Everyday Minerals Base, and this one is in Golden Tan 5W, and I love this so much. It's what I have on my face. I use it to set my foundation because my foundation is way too light for my skin so putting this over the top helps me match myself and this is also vegan cruelty free and it's made out of a factory here and well not here but in Austin Texas here in Texas so I like to support them and you can buy them at Whole Foods my super old Tarte Maracuja creaseless concealer in tan all the writing has come off because it's I've had it for such a long time this is mineral fusion lip liner in burnish I love this it's what I have around my lips right now and it's also a vegan, cruelty-free mineral makeup that you can get at Whole Foods. I love this lip color so much. It's so old. I've had it for such a long, well, not a long time, but I take it with me everywhere. This is the Beauty For Real Barely There Lip Cream, and Beauty For Real is cruelty-free. I have a code and a coupon for you guys down below. Their lip liner, I don't have it in here, but it's the best lip liner ever. It makes your lips look so big. Oh, and then this is the Bodyography Pro Brow brush this is the angle brush and the spoolie end it's what I use basically my eyebrow routine consists of these two bodyography they're amazing I don't really hear a lot of people talking about them I have my eyelash curler then I have this wet n wild which wet n wild I never knew this but they are a hundred percent cruelty free drugstore super cheap brand and this is one of the best gel liners I've ever had. And for the price, it was amazing. This one is the cream liner in Carbon My Reach. This is a vegan guava butter by Seraphine Botanicals. This is for, it's a lip and cheek stain and it's so pretty. 
It smells just like guava. And I love it so much. 100% vegan, cruelty free. Another great little company. Then some tweezers and gel liner brush, which I think is by Bella Pierre, if I'm not mistaken. And it's really good. Oh, and I forgot these. Pacifica, another good brand that I love. This is the Pacifica Natural Minerals Transcendent Concentrated Correcting Concealer. And I just bought this a few days ago. This is in natural. And I actually have it on right now. It's super creamy and hydrating, so it doesn't dry out your under eyes, which I really love. And then I got this little face powder. Look how pretty. It's so cute and petite. This is the Perfect Lotus Universal Powder by Pacifica in the color Natural. So this one is a little kind of a little dark for my under eyes, surprisingly. But it's a good all-over face powder, so I really love this one too. Oops. Okay. Next thing on the other side of my purse is this Fermu, my Fermu glasses. You guys have seen these before. They're a little dirty. I haven't worn them in a while, but they're so pretty. I love them. And then, oh, my e.l.f. powder. This is the e.l.f. contour palette. <laughs> And I don't know what color it is. I think it's just like a universal color, but I'm not a huge fan of them I mean, they're pretty good for the price considering this was like three bucks or something But I basically have it because of the mirror, which is really dirty in this little Compartment I have my well This is a passport and it's in a cover because my passport is not in the best shape and I'm trying to preserve it as much as I can because I have so many amazing stamps in there and I don't want to retire it so soon. Next I have a pen because every time I'm on, I'm on an airplane and I'm going somewhere and I have to do like a customs form, I never have a pen and I'm always like rushing or trying to scramble to find a pen. So I have this pen and I have another pen here. Oh and here's another Camille, Camille Beckman product. This is their Mediterranean Apricot Moisturizing Lip Balm and I love it because look how big it is. And again, gluten free, no animal testing, made in Idaho. USA. I have this in here. Angela Roy, their little card. It just tells you about the product and about their brand. It's water resistant, designed in New York, handcrafted by artisans. Every bag purchased supports mistreated animals through their official partner, the ASPCA. I think there's something else in here. A little something. So, if you guys follow me on Snapchat, when I was in New Orleans a couple weeks ago for Mardi Gras, I came across, in, on Roy, no, it was on Frenchman Street. They have like an area, if you're familiar with New Orleans, if you're not, you should go to Frenchman Street. But they basically have like a lot of little shops and a lot of people who do handmade items, a lot of artists and artisans and, you know, things like that. So we came across this guy. My friend is super, super into crystals. So we came across this guy and he was basically selling a lot these big gorgeous chunky jewelry made of just crystals and stone rewind a couple of days back but my friend the same friend was telling me about how she had a psychic dream while she was wearing sodalite so i was thinking i had never heard of sodalite before and i've never even seen it so i was like oh i want to you know i'm going to remember sodalite you know i want to get sodalite because i you know it apparently helps with your third eye and you know all that stuff so forgot about it completely and then we went to this little guy to <laughs> he wasn't little. We went to this guy and he had his little his table set out and all his beautiful beautiful jewelry and he had stones and gems and crystals from all over the world. I was automatically drawn to this stone here, this beautiful blue stone and I asked him what kind of stone is this and he's like it's called sodalite and I was like it was just weird because we had just been talking about sodalite and I completely forgot about it and then it just happens that the one gem that I'm super drawn to is sodalite. It was just weird. It was like the universe was like, hey, here you go. Here's your sodalite. So I ended up getting this one and then saw this one like near it on the table and I fell in love with it. Look at this beautiful like emerald green and this beautiful blue. I mean, I'm just, I was absolutely drawn to them. This one is malachite and it's also, I read up on it. I had no idea what it was either. I was just drawn to them, which they say when you go crystal shopping, always choose the stones that you are most drawn to because they're calling out for you. So yeah, that's all there is today. I hope this video wasn't super long. I hope you guys liked my purse. If you guys want to get your own Angela Roy purse in 
support a really really great brand the link is down below in the description it's so hard to find such a good quality vegan leather I mean this is so beautiful it's water resistant it stands up on its own has these little pegs I don't do a lot of sponsored videos you guys know I don't do a lot of videos where I have affiliate codes and affiliate links just because if the company doesn't align with my ethics and the lifestyle that I live then I'm not going to support it I'm not going to accept money I'm not going to accept you know an affiliate code or a percentage of sales I'm not going to do that so the reason I am really passionate about this bag and I wanted to show you guys this bag is because I want you guys to also realize that there are a lot of great brands out there we don't just have to buy the brands everybody else is buying we don't have to buy or support these companies that are using animal products or being cruel to animals I like to wear it with the strap like this because this is more like a handbag hold here so I keep this one on and the clasps on this are really really nice they're really high quality they're not just gonna slip off let's check it out I hope this inspires you guys to get your own comment down below with your favorite ethical cruelty free vegan products makeup products beauty products all that down below I love you guys so very much don't forget to follow me on social media I'm on Instagram Twitter and snapchat although i am taking a break for lent and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos from me and i'll see all you beautiful people in my next video bye, -bye.